I'm no slouch when it comes to fixing monitors, but the monitors I'm willing to fix are big LCD panels like this. I can go into these guys, I can replace backlighting, I can replace the panels, I can do a lot of stuff in here, and I can save a lot of money doing it. The place where I don't mess around with monitors is with laptops. Laptop monitors, first of all, tend to be sealed systems. So in order to open them up, it can be a real pain. So I don't like going into them. In general, I'm just gonna replace the entire monitor when I replace stuff. The only thing that I'm really nervous about when it comes to these monitors are all of these connectors. So this guy's actually pretty nice. I've got one connector right here. This single connector handles all of my screen, handles all of my touch screen, handles my webcam and even a little light for the webcam itself. So if I were ever to replace this and I didn't put this back in, well, what would I be doing it for in the first place? And then these two connectors here are just for my Wi-Fi antenna. So I'm gonna make really good sure to connect those. But just for funsies, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Even though most of these laptop monitors are sealed, there's usually a way to get into it. Now, while I'm taking this apart, I wanna make mention of something and that is when you're dealing with the hardware on sealed systems, it's not this bad on laptops, but it can be a real problem with smart devices like a smartphone, is that in order to get into it, you end up having to use lots of spudgers, remember spudgers? And then you end up having to use heat guns because you're melting glue. Now I don't know about you, but I'm really good at certain things, but using hair dryers, to uh, work on anything, I'm no good. And luckily for me, there's lots of folks like you out there who enjoy working on smart devices, and then you'll take care of that for me. Okay, so first of all, here are my wireless antennas, and we can actually trace these all the way up here, and these are my two wireless antenna endpoints right here. So these guys go all the way around. Now on this one, this is my multifunction connector here. So a big part of this comes into the monitor itself, and this is for the screen. Now it's hard to, I'm gonna see if I can show this to you guys. All right, you see this connector right here? So this connector is actually controlling the touch screen. So this has to be connected for the touch screen. These over here, this is what's actually providing output for the monitor itself. And the last one is way over here. You see this cable running up? That cable is for my camera. So you've got a lot of different things on this individual monitor. So if you're gonna be messing with monitors on laptops, don't break the monitor open like I just did. I just did this to show you. Buy complete monitor systems. You can find them on eBay. The OEMs sell them. They're very, very inexpensive. And just put the whole thing together. And remember, it's not just a monitor. You could have a touch screen, you could have Wi-Fi, you could have a camera, and even a light for the camera. And all those connectors need to be in there as well.